Hi everyone, I'm Mr. G, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to navigate the Scratch interface if you're brand new to Scratch or just starting to learn how to code. So Scratch is a programming language that has this nice online development environment, or I'll call it the interface, um, which allows you to code online without having to install anything on your computer, and it just runs in the browser. So it's very nice and easy to get into coding using Scratch but it's a little bit tricky because you might not know where to go for specific things. So hopefully this video helps you out. And if it does, it would be nice if you subscribe and check out my other videos on Scratch and uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions. So Scratch is basically made up of three main sections. On the left, we have three tabs, the code tab, the costumes tab, and the sounds tab. Let's focus just on the code tab for now. So we have this code palette that has all of these different types of blocks. Um, so we have the motion palette, the looks palette, the sound palette, and all of these have diff are different colors. So it kind of gives you an idea when you're reading your code what each block is supposed to do. And each of these blocks is basically a line of code. So what we do is we take our line of code or our blocks from the left side, from the code palette, and drag it over to the middle. So the middle is known as the programming area or scripting area, which you might see some people call it. Uh, the middle area is where you take your code, your lines of code, and start putting them together. So start writing code by dragging blocks and modifying any inputs if you want so that your character does something. So the middle section is the programming area, which controls this area on the right. Or specifically in the, in the top right, we have the stage. This entire square is known as the stage. And in the middle of the stage, right now, we just have one character. And this one character is called a sprite. And a sprite is an object that follows any instructions in code that you write for it in the middle programming area. So if I just drag some blocks of code together, I'm literally giving instructions to the computer to follow when it detects certain events. So all of this code will control the sprite in the stage. So the area all the way on the right, you'll notice that there's a little green flag. That actually is like the starting point for most programs. So most people start their programs with one or many events, um, which are these hat blocks. They look like little hats, that's why they're called hat blocks. And so when the green flag is clicked, my character will start doing exactly what the code tells it to do. So right now the code is telling it to move 10 steps, turn 15 degrees to the right, also meow when I click on the green flag, and if I press the space key, move, let's make that negative 10 steps. So if I was to press the green flag, we'll see those things occurring. And the character moves and turns. Now if I press the space key, the character is gonna move 10 steps in the opposite direction. And you can see it, if I press it multiple times, he's going the other way. So the stage is where you see like the effects of all of the code that you've written in the middle programming area. If you'd like to add another sprite to your project, you can hover your mouse or your cursor over the sprite toolbar icon here in the bottom right of the interface. And instead of choosing a sprite, I'm just gonna take a random one. So I want Scratch to surprise me. And now we have a bowl of, it looks like fruits. So now you'll notice that the programming area is clear because the fruit bowl has no, actually it's a fruit salad. The fruit salad has no code written to it yet. So if I wanna go back to my cat sprite and start coding that again or continue coding, I have to go down to the bottom right and select the sprite one area again. Um, but if I wanna add code to the fruit salad, then I just select that. So the sprite that's highlighted blue is the one that you're currently working on. And you could also see in the programming area, there's a little picture on the top right that tells you which sprite you're actually coding right now. So if I switch back to sprite one, you'll see it becomes the cat. Now the last thing I wanna mention is that in the all the way in the bottom right, we have the stage area. And you'll notice that if I highlight the stage, both of the sprites are not highlighted anymore. And now I'm in control of the backdrop for the stage. So I could just take a random backdrop, click surprise, and there we see that now both of our sprites are in this underwater world. So there's one last thing I wanna go over before you go. If you have the stage selected, remember in the beginning I mentioned that there were three tabs, the code, the costumes, and the sounds tab? If you have your backdrop selected or your stage selected, that middle icon becomes the backdrops icon. And so you can control the different backdrops, add different ones, and change them with code later on in the programming area. But that's just one thing I wanted to mention. Now, if you go back to a sprite, you'll see it becomes costumes again. And each sprite can have multiple costumes or like outfits 
or looks that it will can appear as. And you can program the costumes to change with code. The last thing is the sounds tab, and this is where you can add sounds that your sprites can emit or play at some point in your project. Make sure to go over to the sounds palette and check out the different sound blocks that exist that allow you to manipulate those sounds with code. If you want to start a new project, go over to the file menu and select new. And there you go. Now you have a brand new project. If you learned something from this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe, and also share it with someone that you think would be great at learning Scratch. I'll see you next time.